Hello everyone, so we're shooting 200 yards right now with the AK-47. Um, I did a video earlier today where I got a 2 inch at 100 yards with this AK. So um, we're going to see what I do at 200 yards and then we'll see what I do at 300 yards. Uh, only bad thing is with the AK design, there's no place to put a magnifier on it. What I'm doing is it's got a 2M weight dot with a 65 mm weight circle on this uh, Sun 503CU and what I'm doing is I'm putting my dot like just underneath the top of my target which is about two and a half feet by two and a half feet okay so let's, let's take uh, five shots and see what I get here. table set up here uh, pretty much I don't have a chair to sit on so I gotta kind of do this standing so let's see what I can do make the best of it So here's the thing, uh, without the magnifier, I'm pretty much, you know, just using the 2M weight dot, so there's a little bit of a starburst. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm working with the starburst, so basically I'm just trying to center the star as best as I can, uh, you know, to the top of the target in the center, um, because that's, that's what I can do. If I had a magnifier on this, the magnifier, you know, has a focal, a focal lens on the back that I would be able to... Um, you know, that I, I would be able to get the perfect focus, right? So I do have a little bit of a starburst with 2M away dot, um, you know, trying to hit it at 200 yards. Let's take a drive out there and see what I got. Put you guys on pause so you're not. All right, well, I'm going to say I'm pretty happy. There's my five shots. That's where we shot it from way back there. That's 200 yards. And basically I was anchoring my dot like just underneath you know the top of the bullseye here so it was a probably about that big and i've got it looks like about a seven inch group oh let's see seven uh, let's say eight inches about eight inches so we did hit um what do we hit we hit two inches earlier today with this rifle at a hundred yards uh, now, again, the, the weakest point here is my vision. I mean, basically the fact that I do have a little bit of a star, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of a, a starburst, and it's it's a little difficult to anchor my dot perfectly at the top of the paper. So there's going to be a little bit of movement there, okay? So, um, you know, the only reason why this probably isn't better than this is because of me. Uh, if I had a, um, if I had a magnifier, or if I was able to put a magnifier on the back of that AK-47, uh, I think this grouping would have been a lot better. And I, and I think that's basically the weakness of the AK-47. Uh, you know, I can get an optic on there, but I can't get a magnifier on it. Um, and that's that's basically the, uh, the, the, the weakest link uh, as far as the AK-47 goes. So that's where we're shooting it. Uh, we're going to go out to 300 yards now. 300 yards is going to be way up there. That's where we're going to put this target next. Uh, I'm going to use the same target. I'm just going to mark these holes, and we're going to see what we can get. Um, all right, so let me put, actually, let me put the circles on here now. So we're just going to mark these holes, and I'm just going to drive up there, and we're going to put this down at the 300 yards, and then we're going to see what we're able to do that. So, so from here, we're going to go way up there. All right, we're at the 300 yards now. I'm shooting from way back there. 
let's go see what this AK-47 can do. All right, we're back. So you can see that white little dot all the way in the back. You can, actually, the, the rifle's pointed directly at it. <laughs> so that's 300 yards. Let's load this up. So the ammo that I'm using is... Uh, Bailey Blindy. There you go, you guys can pronounce that. Bailey Blindy. Some data over here. You guys can. There you go. You guys should check out the data that's on it. I, I haven't even noticed that data. I'll have to. I'll take a look at this later, what's on the box. Uh, the bottom is English, so but yeah, show you some drops there. So, anyway, this is brass ammo, this is brass AK 47 ammo. Uh, and I got this supposedly so that it can be more accurate. Uh, the first time I shot it, I wasn't that impressed, but it's doing okay, you know. Um, I mean, I have shot four inches at 200 yards with steel case, so I don't think it makes it that much of a deal, but sometimes the steel case they can be consistencies where you get like one box and it's good, and get the same company, you know, you get another box and you know, a couple of months later it's not that good. So, that's why I said, let me get some brass ammo. Right, so, same deal, I basically put in my twin way dot at the very top of uh, actually, I'm going to put the dot. You put the dot on top of the, of the, of the target. There's definitely going to be a drop at 300 yards. So let me go to the top of the target. Actually, let's see what this says over here. At uh, 300 yards. Ready. Oh, this says that should be almost uh, whatever. I'm going to try to figure that right out. I'll put my dot at the top of the target. Just stop right over the top. The rain. The wind's blowing in, so I'm going to rain right in my face. Hopefully my holdover wasn't too much. Oops. I've done it five, five rounds. So you always check the chamber when you think the gun's empty. Try one more round. saying winds coming straight in it's about where's my wind ribbon it's about 20 miles an hour 15 20 miles an hour straight in so it shouldn't affect me too much um and like i said it's, all, it's just a question if my holdovers are correct that that target's two and a half foot by two and a half foot so me putting the, the dot at the top of the target like like resting it right on top uh it should have got me on the paper we'll, we'll see where they landed let's, let's put you guys on pause Let's take a drive out there, see where we landed. All right, guys, here we are. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um, at 300 yards, we've got I've, the ones with the circles are from earlier. We got one, two, three, four, and then five over here. So let's see, we got a four shot cluster of about 14 inches. And then. Well, actually, include, let me see, 14 inches, 
the total group is 20 inches so we're at 20 inches you know we're definitely inside of the torso of a man um i mean the, the wind didn't mess up with us a little bit we can see how the shots kind of drifted a little bit to the to the left and again this was with the dot up here like basically i was i was sitting the the dot on top of the target at 300 yards at, at 200 yards i was sitting i was basically hanging my dot underneath the top of the target over here so that's at 200 yards at 300 yards i'm sitting it on top of here um and we've got a 20 inch group which is uh definitely combat effective you know um you know you could probably you know with, with the type of shooting i'm doing today at uh, 300 yards i mean i can definitely get out to 400 yards uh and put effective hits, I think, at 400 yards on a man-sized target. At 500 yards, I think I'm just doing suppression fire based on um, the the spread I'm seeing right here. Fortunately, I can't get any further than 300 yards at this range. Um, but yeah, that's where we're. That's at 300 yards over there. And uh, total group is uh, what did we say was. Uh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> Hold on. Total group was. 21 inches, and then we've got a four-shot cluster at 14 inches. So that's the AK-47. And that's with, you know, this is with shooting a two-inch group earlier today. So uh, as you get further out, I mean, you know, basically, theoretically, we should have had a six-inch group. But there's, you know, there's lots of things messing with us here. Uh, the biggest component is the fact that I don't have a magnifier on this gun, and it can't get a magnifier be, uh, behind that, that scope because of the way the AK is set up. If I put like a variable scope, I'd have to mount it on top of the side rail. The problem with mounting on top of the side rail is that the, 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 the frame of the AK-47 flexes a lot uh, during while you're shooting. So over thousands of rounds or even hundreds of rounds, I have found that it's very hard for an AK to hold zero if you're using the side mount, at least with the side mounts that I had used. And it's not because of the mounts. I think it's more because of the rivets and the way they attach uh, to the frames uh, through that side mount. Um, so that's why I, I, I favor mounting on top of the gas tube, but I can't use a magnifier there. Um, so that's where we're at. And that's basically the weakness of the AK, the fact that I can't put a magnifier behind it. Um, but, uh, you know, I was still, you know, at, at 300 yards, this is definitely... Uh, you know, definitely, you know, effective, you know, at 300 yards. And I can probably easily take this out to 400 yards. You know, there'll be more of a, of a spread. I mean, there'll be, obviously, at 400 yards, I think that a lot of the bullets would go outside outside of the target. But if you put enough bullets on target, enough of them will get on it. So I would consider that combat effective. But at 300 yards, I mean, yeah, you can get everything on target. So there it is. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys are following me on uh, all my channels because they back each other up. On um, YouTube, I got Pocono Shooting. Um, uh, I, I got Absolute Gun Rights. And then I got the original Tsafa channel, which goes back to 2006. And then on Odyssey, uh, I've got uh, Pocono Tactical on Rumble on Pocono Guns. And on Bitchu on Pocono Tactical. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Looks like the sun's coming back out. For a while, that was raining on me. Hey, everyone, I just realized I took six shots before. I took a close look at this paper. I see six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go count the shots. But, yeah, I see six holes on this paper. So um, what that means is if you count, basically, I got a, uh, I got a five-shot cluster at that 14 inches. And then one flyer out there so with the five shot grouping this is you know um with a six shot grouping it's looking even tighter because there's a higher chance that either i threw this one off over here or, or the, there was like a crazy gust of wind or something that that totally messed with that but we got five shots inside of the 14 inches over there talk to you soon